here we go with estimating the quotients. Now these have a uh, single digit divisor. So the first thing we do is highlight the divisor, then highlight the first number or two numbers, and the dividend depends on uh, what the basic fact is. You compile the divisor until you pass a highlighted number, then you look for the two closest multiples to the divisor, and then add however many zeros and divide. So let's put it to use. So here I highlight the 9, and my basic fact, I have to highlight the 6 and the 2. So the next step told me to count by 9 until I get past 62. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. 63. So I passed 54. So I'm going to highlight 54 and 63. So those are my two. Those are my two. Uh, it's my high and my low estimate. So I'm going to run jot up here. 54 and 63. You notice I added two zeros. Why two zeros? Because there are two digits there. So you, when I look at the, when I look at my estimate, I see that 54. 62, 63. So all my two estimates are in between the actual dividend. So I divide. 54 divided by 9 is 6. Add my two zeros. 63 divided by 9 is 7. Add my two zeros. Okay. So let's try the next problem together. Okay. So I'm going to highlight the 4 and the 32. So if I count by fours until I get past 32, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. So I need to highlight the 32 and the 36. So that's what I get when I get past it. So when I rewrite my numbers, I'm going to write 32, and I'm going to add three zeros, and then 36, and three zeros. So what's 32 divided by 4? It is 8, and add my three zeros, and then 36 divided by 4 is 9, and add my three zeros. Alright, so pause the video, and you try this one. Well, welcome back. So you should have had your two estimates being 40,000 divided by 5, and you should have had 45,000 divided by 5. And you got 9,000 and 8,000. Now if you got 80,000, don't count that zero twice. That could have been your problem. And over here, I'm looking at the 8, and I'm looking at the 21. So my two estimates are 16, and then I have my zeros, and 24, and add my zeros. So 8 divided by 16 is 2, and then I add 4 zeros. And then 24 divided by 8 is 3, and add my 4 zeros. So we're on to the next page, the notes. So again, I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to highlight here, and here, just just because I want to get it out of the way now. So next step after I highlight is I count by 9 until I get past 22. So 9, 18, 27. 27 passes 22. So my two estimates are 1, 8, 0, 0. 2, 7, 0, 0. So I divide by 9, divide by 9, that gives me 18 divided by 9 is 2, add my two zeros, 27 divided by 9 is 3, add my two zeros. Now here's the tricky one, okay, here's the tricky one. If I count by 4s until I get past 43, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. I passed it. It took me a while, but I got past it. 
so my two estimates are going to be 40,000 and 44,000. Now I want you to wonder, well, Mr. Skirt, why didn't you stop at the 4? Well, because you should have your facts known through 12, and 12 times 4 is 48, so that's why I went with the 43 instead of just the 4. So 4 divided by 40 is 10, and then I add my three zeros, and 11, or 44 divided by 4 is 11, and I add my three zeros. All right, so go ahead and give the video a pause, and I want you to try uh, these next two problems. Welcome back again. Here we've got 7 and 45. My basic facts are 3 and 22. So when I count by 7s, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. So my two estimates, my two estimates are going to be my low is 42,000 divided by seven, and then my high is 49,000 divided by seven. So you should have had 6,000, and you should have had 7,000. And down here, what you should have came up with was three, six, nine, 12, 18, 21, oh, sorry, I forgot 15. and I've passed 22, so I'm stopped there, and here we go. So my, so my two estimates, 21,000 and 24,000. 21 divided by 7, or 20, yeah, 21 divided by 3 is 7 at my zeros, and 24 divided by 3 is 8, and then at my zeros. Now you'll notice that all my answers here, you can go back here, the answer is 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 9, 2, 3, 2, 3, 10, 11, 6, 7, 7, 8. So all my answers are consecutive numbers. Okay? This is your bell work for tomorrow. So this is what we'll uh, address right when we get into to class. Uh, so hope you enjoyed and feel free to go back and, and watch all you want. Thank you.